Hi, I'm Clarissa from Art Doctor. Thank you all for being with us today. Next to me is Chad from Peak Body Fitness, here to bring his insight on some crucial questions answered for our viewers at Art Doctor. So Chad, how does fitness help with blood pressure and cholesterol? Hi Clarissa, thanks again for having me on. Um, according to the new guidelines from the American Heart Association, exercising for 150 minutes a week can lower some adults' high blood pressure and cholesterol. So now it's time to start moving. Adding some movement to your day can lower your blood pressure and cholesterol. They also suggest that doctors write exercise prescriptions for those with mild to moderately high blood pressure and cholesterol. These prescriptions would suggest how much physical activity is needed, along with resources such as health coaches and diet and exercise experts. An estimated 21% of U.S. adults, about 53 million people, have blood pressure that's considered a little too high. So it's measured by the maximum number known as systolic blood pressure, falling between 120 and 139, or the bottom number called diastolic blood pressure, falling between 80 and 89. Now likewise, roughly 28% of U.S. adults, or about 71 million people, have slightly high cholesterol levels. Now a bad LDL cholesterol score is above 70. The guidelines for blood pressure and cholesterol suggest that people in slightly high ranges who otherwise have a low risk of heart disease or stroke be treated only through lifestyle changes. And these kind of changes would include increased physical activity, weight loss, improving your diet, stopping smoking, and moderating your alcohol intake. And studies show that increasing physical activity can lower systolic and diastolic blood pressure by an average of three to four and decreasing LDL cholesterol by three to six. So this statement highlights research showing physically active people have a 21% lower risk of cardiovascular disease and a 36% lower risk of death from cardiovascular diseases than inactive people. In general, what is the best way to lower blood pressure and cholesterol? Lose extra pounds and watch your waistline. Uh, blood pressure often increases, almost always increases as weight increases. Exercise regularly, eat a healthy diet, reduce salt in your diet, limit your alcohol, and quit smoking. It's bad for you. <laughs> Get a good night's sleep and reduce stress. So which exercise is best for high blood pressure? There's a lot of great exercises. The six best exercises to control high blood pressure that I recommend, walking, at least 10 minutes of brisk or moderate walking three times a day, or 30 minutes a day of biking or stationary cycling, or three 10 minute blocks of cycling, um, hiking, uh, desk treadmilling or pedal pushing, at weight training, I'm a heavy proponent of weight training, and swimming. Now, federal physical activity guidelines suggest people participate in either a cumulative 150 minutes of moderate intensity aerobic exercise or 75 minutes of vigorous aerobic activity weekly, plus two or more strength training sessions each week. One of the best ways to reach healthy blood pressure and cholesterol levels is by achieving and maintaining a healthy weight. It's well known, again, this has been known for ages, it's very well known that physical activity along with good nutrition is a significant factor in helping with weight loss. In fact, it's the only way to help with weight loss. Doing something is better than doing nothing. Remember that. The other benefits of exercise, they're almost self-explanatory. They're gonna increase your endorphins. They're gonna help balance your neurotransmitters that help you reduce stress. Um, and that's another contributing factor to high blood pressure and cholesterol. Um, strengthening and conditioning your heart and arteries can help heal your body after years of neglect. Building skeletal muscle through strength training will raise your metabolism and help you burn additional calories. The bigger your motor, the more fuel you burn. Strength training also assists with your balance and can reduce your risk of falls. So improving fatigue um, 
it will give you more energy. Um, and as a bonus, if you're currently treated for hypertension or high, high blood pressure, exercise often helps reduce or eliminate the need for medication. What is the best exercise to help reduce high cholesterol? Good question. Again, you'll see changes in your LDL level after just three to six months of exercising regularly. It takes longer to see a difference in HDL, but most studies show it takes an average of about nine months. Walking, I, again, I am a big promoter of walking. It, get, it raises your good cholesterol and lowers your bad cholesterol. A brisk 30 minute walk three times a week is enough to raise your good cholesterol, your HDL, and lower your bad cholesterol, which is your LDL, by a few points. And even without weight loss, this amount of exercise will improve your cholesterol levels. Now, if you have a chronic health condition, please speak with your physician before starting an exercise plan. Your physician may recommend certain activities to focus on, avoid, or suggest other safety precautions. Now, if you're in generally good health, or after you've received the go-ahead from your doctor, it's time to put your workout plan into action. Nothing's gonna happen if you don't make it happen. You don't have to stick to traditional forms of exercise like jogging. Aim to do an activity that you enjoy. Dancing, you know, biking, hiking, playing tennis, gardening, yard work. Do what you like to do, just get out and move. Move your body. How much weekly exercise is needed to achieve lasting health benefits? Any moderate activity for at least 150 minutes a week or more is the general bare minimum for health. A good rule of thumb is to do something more often. Now, the American Heart Association, they also recommend strength training to help build muscle mass. I'm a huge proponent of strength training. But how does one know if they are working hard enough? According to the American Heart Association, if you can sing or carry on an entire conversation during your exercise, you should probably pick up the pace a little bit. So conversely, if you need to stop and catch your breath frequently, you may want to take it down just a notch or two. You're in the sweet spot for your exercise intensity level if you can say short sentences, but not much more. Warming up before you start exercising and cooling down after your exercise, guys, that is essential because it gives your heart more time to adjust from resting to your active heart rate. Your warm up and cool down can also prevent um, tendon, ligament, and muscle injuries, especially as you get older, such as walking for five to 10 minutes before and after your activity. If you choose to stretch, do this after exercising. Okay, so while you're exercising, be sure to pay attention to how you feel. Be in tune with your body. If you experience dizziness, lightheadedness, shortness of breath, or pain in your chest, uh, your shoulder, your neck, your jaw, your arm, stop exercising and rest. And be sure to call your doctor if those symptoms persist. So Chad, what are the best exercises to lower cholesterol? Brisk walks. There's no need to hit that treadmill at full speed. You don't need to do that. Cycling. You didn't have to think about cholesterol levels as a kid. And maybe that's because you were always staying active by riding your bike around town and going to see your friends and family. Swimming, yoga, you know, dancing. You know, here's what you need to know. Get your blood pressure, your glucose, and cholesterol levels checked regularly. Every one to three years for most people. Exercise regularly. I strenuously say that. Exercise regularly and eat a reasonably healthy diet. And within a few weeks of starting the path to wellness, you will see a positive difference in your numbers and you're gonna start feeling better. So don't delay, get active today. Thanks, Chad. All the staff at Peak Body and our doctor would like to wish you the best on your journey with keeping your blood pressure and cholesterol under control. You deserve to feel great and look great. Good luck and make sure to like and follow us if you want to see other videos. Take care.